Petraeus, whose combat adherence to duty showed brave perseverance, gave top secrets to his biographer, who still also had top secret clearance. Although she had top secret clearance, the law required also adherence to specialized rules like need-to-know rules, which arguably crippled her clearance. However, Obama's AG insisted Petraeus should be convicted of crime for classified lines he let his biographer see. An honorable sailor named Christian at sea on a submarine mission took six iPhone pictures in submarine strictures, but not for release or transmission. Because the device used by Christian for pics on his submarine mission was not authorized, approved, or prescribed, he suffered court-martial conviction. Despite proof that Hillary knew the email device she did choose for things classified was not authorized, to charge her, Lynch Comey refused. Yet Clinton, Obama, and Lynch expect we should all be convinced that Bill and Loretta, as chatting jet-setters, talked grandkids, not fixes she'd clinched. But Comey did later concede the FBI needed to see the criminal laptop with wienerized backups of secrets she'd sent and received. But then Comey quickly retreated to no prosecution repeated re Hillary's backups on criminal laptops and said nothing further is needed. And then on the very same day, some state-released emails displayed that Hillary made her no-clearance maid print emails with secrets displayed. Despite Lynch and Comey in treatments, the facts not disputed completely, beyond doubt established, the Lynch-Comey axis gave Hillary above-the-law treatment. To end Lady Justice's maltreatment, American voters in treatments by votes to be cast can finally, at last, halt Hillary above-the-law treatment.